Hello and welcome to Total Television. I'm Mel Coles. Today we're at Carriers World and joining me now is Ruth Pickering, who's Managing Director of Strategy at BT Wholesale. Now, Ruth, you've just been talking about growth in turbulent times. How challenging is it at the moment? I think the first thing to say about turbulent times is that people will associate that comment with the recession that we've currently been in globally over the past couple of years. And I think for carriers, actually, we've had a, quite a turbulent market. It's been quite tough for a long time in terms of the erosion we've seen of our existing portfolio, the trends towards IP traffic. So from our perspective, it is difficult, but equally, I think when you look at some of the trends moving forward, there are some real opportunities for carriers. So what kind of trends are there? So I think in terms of the main market trends, we've been talking about the substitution of traditional voice to IP voice. And those things are really happening. Those things are really becoming a reality today. So those are things that people need to deal with in terms of substitution. I think what that's bringing as well is a new level of competition. And again, you know, if you see your existing revenues migrate to lower margin IP services, that's one thing. If you see your existing revenues are lost to a competitor, that's a much worse scenario. Um, I think there's also a huge amount of market disruption. So some new entrants, so over the top players, people who don't have to maintain a very expensive and costly network infrastructure. So is there room for growth? If so, whereabouts? So from our perspective, yes, I think absolutely. I think one of the key reasons that we're optimistic about growth is really around the consumption of content. So if you consider the usage of content for the average adult, so you'll spend 44% of your time actually consuming services that are provided by our industry, and that's huge, and that will, that will increase further. So I think when you consider what people are doing, it's not only about content consumption, we're also seeing usage across multiple devices at the same time. So that is set to grow and grow, and there is therefore dependence on us as, you, as an industry and as a sector to very specifically deliver against that. So there's growth in that space, and I think also as people move to IP services, there's the substitution possibly of your traditional revenues, but there's also layers of value that you can create in that world in terms of hosted IP services that actually mean that overall it can be a particularly profitable area. In these turbulent times, how, how important is it to be innovative? I think innovation is sometimes a misunderstood word. I think from our perspective, what our customers want to see is they want to see quick turnaround. So they're not necessarily looking for something completely out of the blue. But when we do come up with a concept, whether that's something around cost reduction, whether that's around value creation, what they want to see is a very effective implementation that's seamless, with no mistakes, and where wrapped around whatever it is that's being offered, there's a fantastic service layer. So where will BT Wholesale go from here? What's the next big thing for you? So I think what we're seeing is a huge amount of growth in our IP portfolio. So whether that's IPT or whether that's SIP trunking, whether that's our interoperability, whether that's our hosted services, we're also seeing a huge growth internationally. So we've had a huge amount of success in the UK around managed network services that you'll have read about. And actually what we're seeing is demand from some UK-based customers for international services and also new demand from outside of the UK. So across a range of areas. So the user at home, what will they see? Any different? So I think one of the key things about the user at home is that obviously we are a wholesale provider, but interestingly we have about 4.2 million end users on our white label managed services platform who would be consumers at home. And I think in terms of what those people are looking for, they're looking for greater levels of support, they're looking for cloud-based offering, and they're looking for higher speeds, and we provide all of those things. Okay, Ruth Pickering, thank you very much.